This is Aaron Fisher, Technology Integration Facilitator for the East Bridgewater Public Schools. And this is an example of how you could use Google Sheets to create a timeline. So the first thing you need to do is know what you're going to timeline on. But if you want to put a title in and you want it nice and big, you can go up here and select your cells. I'm going to merge the cells. I'm going to center my text and I'm going to write my title. I'm highlighting my text. I want it in the center of the cell. And I want it bigger and I want it a cool font. You can always choose more fonts, by the way, and there's a lot of different fonts out there. Well, that's going to be too big. There we go. So I also want the border around my title. And there's that. I can fill this in for color if I want. So here's my example timeline. So let's say I'm going to do my dates here. Maybe I'll fill this in black and I'll make my text white. And let's say I'm going to do one of myself. So I'm just going to start with three events. So in 1981, I'm going to do a text wrap. Aaron Marie Lavoy was born on a hot summer day, oh, July 13, 1981. Now notice you have to do this text wrap to get it in the box. I am going to center it. I am going to put some bold lines around my box so that way it shows. Maybe I'll color the box. And now here, I'm going to put born or birth or whatever I want to put there. I'm going to make this much bigger. Notice my cell adjusts to the font. I'm going to center it. And then I'm going to right click it and I'm going to go to, sorry, not going to right click it. I'm going to click it once, format align, no, text rotation, <laughs> tilt up. And you'll notice I get this nice tilt up format. I'm going to color that cell maybe green, or I'll color code it the same color as my other one. I'm going to center this one so it shows there. Maybe I'm going to make this text bigger too. Make sure you select it before you change the size. And there we go. And now I'll keep going and do more events. Something else you can do as well is you can put an image in here. So let's say I want to go get an image. Uh, maybe I have one of myself. Maybe I don't. I'm going to go out and just get a Google image. I'm going to say birthday. Images. I'm going to find what I want. Happy birthday. So watch this. I'm going to right click. Instead of copying it, I'm going to copy my image address. The reason I'm doing this is because I want my picture to fit in the cell exactly. So I'm going to make my cell a little bigger, this row, and these are where my pictures are going to go. So I'm going to put equals image. parenthesis, quotation, and now I'm going to paste in that image address. Whoa, close quotation, close parenthesis. Oh, nothing there. Oh, so maybe that's not a good image. That's probably why, because it's a GIF. Let me get another one. Right click, copy image address. Equals, image, parenthesis, quotation, paste. That's a good one. Quotation, parenthesis. And there it is. I can center it. And I have a nice little happy birthday. And if I make the cell bigger or smaller, it will adjust to the cell. If you paste it in, that won't happen. It won't stay in the cell. So that's the way that you do that with that formula. Image, 
equals image, open parenthesis, quotation, the pasted address, quotation, close parenthesis. And you can keep going. This is fun for the kids to make, and then you can share them with each other and have that in there. Enjoy.